Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgia and in today's video I'm doing something different. As you saw from my title, I am admitting something that it is very difficult for me to say I have failed on something. I tend to be the person who is like a perfectionist but on in a not in a sense of I want everything to be perfect but I want to be one of the best and in my YouTube career here I would say career I would say that unfortunately this is not the case nevertheless it is very important for me to face my demons in 2024 but this is one of my goals and turn a mindset that is kind of more of a negative into a positive experience at least this is the goal here this year in a few months I will be 10 years on YouTube and you see a lot of other creators here that have been as long as I am or even like shorter and you usually hear like these beautiful success, success stories this success it may look easy or like effortless but let me tell you this is not the case it takes a lot of carrots creativity self-discipline consistency focus and determination on a specific goal it has like a, there are a lot of elements that a person needs to put and a lot of work that he or she needs to put in order to have a successful career here on YouTube and in general be successful in a way um, in life and I believe that I'm a great example here, at least for YouTube, where when all these elements and all these things are not there, this is what it happens. A channel gets stagnated, you remain in the same, let's say, place, and at least this is what it seems online. And I'm not trying to minimize myself or like talk myself down, I just feel that it's the time to really face reality and this is true, I haven't put the effort, I haven't been consistent for years now and I didn't have the focus that in, I needed to have in order to grow here on YouTube in this platform. During all these years on YouTube I have to say that there are a lot of elements that they have led me in this stagnation. One of the most important parts of my failure I think it's that I wasn't believing myself and also I wasn't disciplined in posting consistent videos. I am consuming so much content, you have no idea, uh, like the one that I am creating, but it is very different when you consume content as you are very passive and you are when you are creating content. This is something more like doing and this is the difference between all of us that we are consumers of content on YouTube and the people who actually succeed on YouTube. And I don't want to come across as a pessimist person, as I am not. I am very, very optimistic. I just want to normalize the feeling of hearing all these success stories and not feeling that you are there yet. At least this is what I feel now. I'm not there yet, but it doesn't mean that if I don't put the effort and all of me in pour my soul there, it will not happen. And each person has its own definition for success. So I am sharing my point of view on this topic. And I say that, yes, this is my biggest failure. And I, yeah, I want to share with you what are the next plans, what I have learned from this experience. And I hope you will take a lesson or you will pick something that will really resonate with you. As a small content creator, chasing number really created anxiety for me. And this is one of the reasons why my mindset was so bad. I was trying, not seeing all this like growth that I was anticipating, all the numbers growing up, really, really impacted my self-esteem and my yeah, self-validity in a way and how I perceive success and the only thing that was like consuming my mind is that I'm not doing a good job, I'm not good enough, I don't know what I'm doing. And this focus really made me forget about the, all the positive things and all the progress that I had actually made, such as like building a beautiful sm small community but beautiful community here on YouTube. You, your support, it really meant a lot but it is very easy to feel like lost and forget all these things when numbers are like on the way. But by uploading all these videos here on YouTube, I have learned so much that if I wasn't doing this, I wouldn't have built this skill set, such as editing videos here on YouTube, filming and you know like creating content on online 
I also try to improve when it comes to my speaking, like public speaking, let's say, uh, where I wouldn't have done, I feel like I wouldn't have done all these things if I wasn't here. And on top of that, I have managed to land three jobs because I had a YouTube channel or one of the reasons was that I had a YouTube channel and that made me more attractive than other candidates. So even though numbers did not translate this type of success, I'm the one who is very important to realize all this growth and all these successful stories that I had throughout these 10 years. It's just that they, I cannot see them online on my YouTube channel. <laughs> We are living in the world where instant gratification and chasing the carrot is very prominent in our lives. Trending videos and trying to imitate them will give the illusion of achievable success and very fast success because it is kind of like a proven formula of success. In my opinion, it is very important to understand what is happening in your market and what is happening around you, but not everything, every trendy content will fit to the content that you actually want to create. I believe that having a great understanding of yourself and what message you want to convey to your audience, it is very important and it will always lead you where you want to go. It may be long and sometimes painful process, but I truly believe and I hope that it is worth it as you always stay true to yourself. One of the biggest obstacles that I can identify for my growth here on YouTube is that I was never fully committed. And because I wasn't fully committed, failing, it was kind of like an okay. And I had kind of an excuse that, you know, I was failing here on YouTube. And even though in theory this may sound okay as it's like a safe game, at the end I was always having kind of like a disappointing feeling in, inside me that I knew it wasn't the right path for me. By just doing things and not actually fully immerse yourself there, make things li in life in general, not one specific thing in general, make feel things like they are insignificant and not important. And if you're not putting your all in things that they make you feel happy, that you love and you really enjoy the process, if you don't con like put the energy there, then where are you putting the energy? Where do you distribute all this energy that you have inside you? And I wasn't doing this. I was always feeling disappointed. And I realized that I was doing things with, like we say in Greek, like with half heart. And this is very sad, I have to say. What is important for me this year is actually to immerse myself into creating content that I am genuinely interested in and I really like creating. And along with, you know, commitment and consistency, I truly believe that, you know, I will really enjoy the process. And even though it can be hard, I think that it will reflect what I want to do and give me kind of a sense of purpose. And if you think about it, I have already failed. So what else can it go wrong? I have tried the wrong path, let's say. So let's switch things up and hopefully it will be for the best. At this stage, it's more about challenging myself, doing something for myself rather than succeeding on YouTube. If you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, my only advice would be just do it. <laughs> go ahead. There are so many great opportunities and learnings that you will have throughout this journey that I cannot recommend it enough of. If you think about it, just start. One advice that I will give you is follow your heart and, and do it for yourself. Not the numbers, not what you are perceiving successful here online. It's just do it for you because you enjoy in general the process yes there are painful parts that may not be so enjoyable but overall this makes you happy this fulfill you and as you will grow you know like mainly personally you will really see the benefits of all this journey and at the end you're doing it for yourself so so i think this is the the best part of having a YouTube channel. You are prioritizing yourself and you are doing something just for you. I really hope that you will give your all because look at me, I didn't do that and stagnation is the only thing that can happen. So give all your effort that you have and I am really, really sure that you will find the success that you're looking for. It may not, you know, translate to what you had in mind, in mind uh, 
or you had visualized it, but it can be something different. It can be something even better. We dare, dare to dream and dare to do something for yourself and you will be rewarded. During this year, it will sound kind of weird, but I really want to honor this half effort that I did and actually try these 12 months. I really want to try and put all my energy in here. I have so many things to learn and I'm really looking forward to discovering them. More particularly, these are some items or some things that I really want to achieve this year. I have them here because I'm always forgetting them. So, I would like to be consistent with my content, uploading at least one video per week. I really try to do this since July of 2023 and I have to say, throughout when I, there was a period that I wasn't consistent because I was sick, but in general, I'm very happy that I have tried to I have tried and I have actually I have achieved a little bit to be more consistent. Spend more time in creating content that I am proud of. Many times I remember I have uploaded video just because I had to upload something, but I really want to create content that I enjoy and yeah, I'm proud of, you know, putting it online. Plan my content and organize myself better. I do have created a Notion calendar and I also have another digital calendar that I have shared with you on my iPad and these are two tools that I'm consistently using in order to keep up with my content, come up with ideas and actually start planning them and yeah, organize myself better. Take some courses in order to develop my skill set. I have learned a lot of things by myself, but this year I really want to invest in my skill set and improve myself. So I want to take some courses in order to yeah, develop myself, as I said, and get better. Lastly, rediscover myself in the process of it. As I said, I was pouring my like my half heart there. I really want to put my all and I do believe that throughout this process I will really discover new parts of me and grow. So I'm really looking forward for this in 2024. So yeah, 2024 is the year where I'm committing to myself and I hope that you are doing the same for yourself. The journey is long and I know that it can be painful but we have each other to keep us accountable when things are getting hard. Last thing, I really wanted to thank you so much for all your support throughout these years. As I said, I wasn't committed, I wasn't consistent, but you have been here supporting me. And from the bottom of my heart, I really, really thank you. I hope that you have enjoyed the content so far that I have created. And I'm looking forward for, you know, turning the page and starting something more, you know, wholesome, wholesome and closer to my heart. So thank you and I will see you next week. Mwah.